How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Riding with the King as recorded by B.B. King and Eric Clapton. This is a super fun funky song that's got a number of sections to it. I'm going to break the whole thing down for you step by step. The song is in the key of B but it starts on an A blues riff and then the whole band comes in a whole step up so it really lifts the energy when the band comes in. Before we dive into it though, I wanna hook you up with something right away at the first link down below. I've got an exclusive blues guitar training series that comes with tabs and sheet music, and these are some special videos that are not on YouTube. So check that out at the first link down below. If you wanna build a really solid foundation with your blues guitar playing, this is really gonna help you out. All right, well with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Riding with the King as recorded by B.B. King and Eric Clapton. We're gonna start out with this bluesy figure that's based off an A chord. Here's what it sounds like. A one, and two, and three, and four. <laughs> So we're playing an A5 chord here. So just using my index finger to play the second fret of the fourth string. Then we're gonna play open A, then play the fourth string. And we're gonna let this A note ring out, but we're gonna make the notes here that are moving a little bit more staccato. So I'll do that by kind of just pressing the notes and then releasing the pressure. So I'm walking up there two, four, five with the open string, the open A string in between like this. And when I go from four to five, I'll do a little hammer on. Then I repeat that, that hammer on. And then I'm gonna go, and that's five on the fourth string, then two on the third string. And rhythmically, we're starting on the and of four. So four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay? Then the second time, we're gonna play basically the same thing, but with a little variation, we're gonna go. So instead of going, we're just gonna stay on the fifth fret. So, hammer, hammer, then five. Okay, now it's important to note that this rhythm or this guitar part starts as a pickup on the and of four. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. On the and of four, we jump up to a B chord, which is kind of just this cool lift, because we started out, it kind of gives you the impression that the song's gonna be in the key of A, and then all of a sudden it jumps up to a whole step, it's actually in the key of B. So those parts together sound like this. Oh, one, and two, and three, and four. On this B chord for four bars, and then that's the whole intro. So that's two, four, four, four. And then the verse comes in. Got well paid. I spent it all at the penny Okay, so what happens here is we play three bars of B. One, two, three, four, two, two. Then we play what's called a two, four bar. So we're just gonna go one, two. Then we're gonna go to E and restart our count. We're gonna go back to one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's one of the cool things about this verse is that two, four bar. So one, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Two counts then. E, two. 
two bars of E, then back to the, the B chord. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, then we go back to B for two bars. Then we go to the chorus. Okay, so for the chorus, we go to a G chord, and I'm just playing the standard kind of open position G here. Clapton, in the music video, he, he goes to like his typical kind of thumb chord here, like what he plays in Old Love, um, and just a common chord shape for him. So you could do that, or you could just play the G. Now what I like to add is the bass line down to the walk down to the E, which almost reminds me of like, sitting on the dock of the bay or something like that. And then back up. So that's two bars of G, two bars of E. Two bars of G, and then we go back to. We do the second half of the lick. So all of that together sounds like this. One, two, here's the chorus. Walk. Back up, and then one half of the lick. Then we go to an interlude section, okay? And this is two bars of B to a bar of E and then a bar of A. So that's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, then E. Then we go back to the verse, repeat everything again. So here it is from the verse. is, you know, tuxedo and uh, shiny. This is where, where those lyrics come in. And he starts out on a D chord here. So that's the same chord as B, just up three frets. So it's one, two, three, four, D. Then we do a walk down. And we do, we, we do like the same chord progression, like what we were doing G to E. But we're, this time we're going D to B. So one, two, three, four, one. Walk down to B. Back up. And then we go to like the second half of the chorus. We go to G, same progression. And then the lick. Now sometimes in the song, like here, Clapton will play like previously when we played this part, we did a half of a lick, we did the second half of the lick. So we'd go like. But then here he goes. And goes up to that higher note. So again, you could kind of play either one. Uh, it's, it's a little bit inter interchangeable there. So after this, we play the rest of the tune, just jamming out on two bars of B a bar of E and a bar of A, which is the interlude section. So that's just... And they just jam out and play solos over that. 
And for that solo section, you could really dig into your B blues scale. You know, I might play something like this. Have fun practicing Riding with the King as recorded by B.B. King and Eric Clapton. Make sure to go and practice this along with the recording. It's really important to play along with recordings. It's one of the best ways to improve your guitar playing, your time, your feel, and everything all at once while having a good time just jamming. Before you go, don't forget to get access to my exclusive blues guitar training series. If you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're gonna get a ton more value out of this free content that comes with tabs and sheet music and everything you need to build a solid foundation with blues guitar. As always, leave any comments for song requests down below. I'm posting a ton of song lessons every single day here on the channel, so let me know what I should teach next. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.